Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Paul and I'm a senior platform engineer. Today we're setting up a lightweight Kubernetes cluster using K3S and then we're going to deploy a full monitoring stack with Prometheus and Grafana using Kube Prometheus stack. The Kube Prometheus stack is a collection of Kubernetes manifests, Grafana dashboards and Prometheus rules combined with documentation and scripts to provide an easy way to operate an end-to-end -end Kubernetes cluster monitoring with Prometheus and the Prometheus operator. So let's dive straight into this. So in the description below, there's a link to a GitHub repository with the Vagrant file and a readme markdown file with the commands I use in this uh, video. But when you have cloned that repository, you can see you'll find the Vagrant file. At the top, we can customize the username we're going to use and then change this path to make sure it reflects the correct path to your SSH public key. And then change this to the host name for your virtual machine and change this to the IP address. This is a default Ubuntu 24.04 KVM setup. That's why I have the 192.168.122 network. If you're also on Ubuntu 24, just uh, use the same address as here. We're using the cloud image Ubuntu 2404 image and this specific version. So once you have customized the variables, just head into the terminal. Make sure you have Vagrant installed and then just type Vagrant up. And it will take one or two minutes before it's ready. And here we can see it's ready. And now we just ssh l cube into the IP address we entered in the Vagrant file and boom, we're in. This one is also configured to have passwordless sudo access. So we can just run sudo app update. And right now there are 16 packages available for upgrade. So let's just upgrade them with sudo update upgrade. Yes. While these are updating, we can go and check out the k3s.io web page. So here we can find the curl command to install k3s. Just copy this command right there. Copy, head back to the terminal and paste this in to take about one minute. And once that's done, we can see that we have the sudo k3s kubectl get nodes command right there to check that the installation was successful. Just copy that and run it in the terminal. And boom, we already have a Kubernetes cluster up and running. So what I like to do is to copy the k3s file into my local configuration and export it as kubeconfig dot cube. And then we just type kubectl get nodes now we can see we're up and running so now we need to install helm so in order to install helm we just go to the helm.sh page and we find installation right here let me just get this script get helm copy this and we go back to the terminal right here and then we pipe to sh like that then it installs Helm, so you can type Helm version to verify that Helm was installed. Once Helm is installed, we can add the Prometheus community Helm repository by running this command. And then we update the Helm repositories by running Helm repo update. And then we're going to create a dedicated namespace for the monitoring system. We're just going to write kubectl create namespace monitoring. And once that is done, we can install the Helm chart by Helm install KPS, which is the name I chose for Cube Prometheus stack. Prometheus community slash Cube Prometheus stack. And we make sure we install it into the monitoring namespace right there. And this will take about a minute. And now we can see that Helm has installed. And we can run Cube Cuttle dash n monitoring get pods dash o wide to see all the pods running you can see we have alert manager we have grafana we have the operator we have the metric server we have the node exporter and we have prometheus and then we can also get the password by copying this command and running it you can see the password is prom operator and then we can access the grafana by first finding the name of the pod and exporting it into a variable. So we're just going to copy the command from there. And then we're going to use the port forward command like this. Except we're going to also add dash dash address 0000, 0, 0, 0 like that. Now it's forwarded. So we can go back to our browser right here and open a new tab and then type 192.168.122.42 port 3000. And then we type username admin and from operator. So now we can see we got logged into Grafana. We have access to all the default dashboards right here. We can see the pods. If you go to the monitoring namespace, we'll see all the pods right here. 
since we just started the entire stack there's not much data yet but we can at least see we have the traffic uh, pods in the cube system cube public nothing cube node list nothing default nothing and monitoring we have the all the prometheus stack in here you can see the namespace workloads yeah all the default dashboards really here we have like the statistics for the node load average memory usage cpu usage disk io etc so that's actually about it so now we have a very simple k3s kubernetes cluster up and running with the cube prometheus stack we're ready to deploy more applications and start monitoring so if you want to delete all of the clusters we can just type in the commands in my github repository right here and installing so let's go back to the terminal let's copy the commands which uninstalls the helm chart and then deletes the namespace and deletes all the crds we installed together with the helm chart so if we now run kubectl get pods dash dash all namespaces we can see that the monitoring pods is now gone also, if you now want to uninstall K3S, we just type do user local bin K3S dash uninstall and kubectl is not installed anymore. And if you want to destroy the entire virtual machine we set up, we just log out and we type vagrant destroy dash F and boom, the entire system is gone. We can also type SSH keygen dash R and the IP address and the content is deleted from known hosts as well. So that's about it for this video. I hope you learned something and I hope this inspires you to continue learning about Kubernetes and how to configure and set up clusters. Let me know if you have any ideas for my next video or if you have any questions about Kubernetes, K3S, monitoring or whatever. Just let me know in the comment field. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more.